All right, wild growth. The weird looking wild growth. I could play this bite on turn three, but I don't know if that's something I actually want. I could like kill a Gidra or something. Well, let's just take the playable card. Put cushion underneath it. What? Highly offended. Tour guide and druid. I can see it. You do like setting up that spell power turn. I could see it, JT Money. You don't take the Nope, never mind. His deck building sucks. I lost all respect for him. Flat Earther confirmed. Neutral Druid over here. Wrath. Wow, he swipes that. Okay. So now he has to have Starfall or I win the game. He has Starfall, then, you know, some games are hard to win. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tiger, too. Dude, this guy loves neutrals. He does not like those Druid class cards. What is that about? I'm curious. He just doesn't have the cards. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. I respect dudes in that case. Yeah, sometimes I forget about that. Alright, Epileptic Nips, thanks for that sub. Five more chin-ups for me. Let's see how long till this door frame comes down. I'm starting to straighten my legs as I pull up. So that if it comes down, I'm like, in control. <laughs> Drawing cards is kind of bad here. Ooh, it's taking a lot of damage. That looks like it hurts. He was way behind. Sorry, Omu. Not the one four. Fuck! <laughs> I still think he's kind of checkmated here. I watched the Queen's Gambit. Not yet, but I hear a lot of people are really into it. So Rush is generally very strong, and it's exceptionally strong with Lake Threshers. I think that's what I'm doing here. Caltrops and Recycling both decent. It's not much of a recycling deck. But yeah, Rush. Well, we don't really need Broomstick, do we? You can never have too many swipes. Thoughts on the no guardian animals in starting deck. Is it worth it in longer term to have it in starting deck? I, I think it's worth it. I hadn't considered not putting it in the deck. It sounds a little weird to me. Generally, you want to play your good cards. 
it's like exactly game one where you wouldn't want it. If you're building your deck around exactly game one, it doesn't sound smart. Sounds bad. Holy moly, I got a wild growth start. That's what's up. Kind of jealous of his scrying orb. I think that's better than my rush. How long have I been doing consistent exercise? Um, my late 20s? Maybe 8 years? Something like that. No, less than 8 years. 6 or 7? A oh, while. Wow. Oh, hello Moonfire. Goodbye, Mana Tide. Tour Guide? Oh, he was trying to coin out a two-mana spell, but he messed up the Ronin Scrying Orb. That's an oopsie. What two-mana spell did he want to play there? I can't really figure it out. What on earth two-mana spell would he play there? Is he, like, coin crackling me or something? All right, I have no idea what he was doing. I don't think he did either. Always mana tied. This Azure Drake has rush. It's not so bad. I really don't love the rush passive in Druid. I mean, it, it's strong enough, but it's not like... I'd rather have spell damage or mana dis or spell discount. It's more of a spell deck than a minion deck. Good job, Azure Drake. What are my thoughts on the patch tomorrow? Seems pretty good. I did say a little bit on Twitter about what I thought. I'll link it in chat. I am the spell damage guy. Could start with Omu Mark of the Wild. I like that. Tied every time, huh? In time, you too will bloom. Ever bloom. Room to grow. All right, he's starting to look pretty low. Rush is in charge? Jesus. Learn something every day. Alright, chat, make sure to spam order lol. This one has rush. So boring opponent. Yeah, that game was actually hard to watch. The opponent was like there, but very clueless, and it's just, it was not a game. It was like, it was sad. Okay, we are backpack druid. We could take the flat earth bucket. I kind of like these. These look like cards that have been in standard decks. Maybe with rocket backpacks, I should take the flat earth bucket. I don't know what I'm ever going to do with Nourish, but interesting. I kind of like the minions because of backpacks. 
Are there any other egg cards that are like worth considering? And then enrage cards in general, like Amani Berserker. Alright. Any wild growths? Any treasures? Getting sloshed with the election drinking game? Oh god. Election drinking games sound brutal. I cannot handle that. Hey, there's my wild growth. This acidic swamp ooze is about to devour a mana worm. Insane tech card. Every time they say we gotta be patient, we just gotta count or do the math, take a drink. No, no, no. I want my viewers to live. Please. Don't advise them to do such things. Yeah. Nobody can pass the mana worm. <gasps> oh shit, that had rush delay. You idiot. You idiot. Oh, I need to stop. I'm too tired. When you make a play like that, you know you're done for the day. That's that's the game ender right there. All right, big hugger. Well, let's try and keep it like not too politically charged. Oh shit! That guy is rush. I remember this time. Are you proud of me, chat? No! Why so mean, your entity? You're hurting my feelings. Me no stupid. Me go face. Okay, me no stupid. Me have rush. And keep going face. I love smorking mages down. They have so little life gain. Smork? That's a lot of swipe damage. You don't pick the walks. Always hungry for more. Holy God, I get to play that card? So into this. It's nice being the one casting guardian animals. That's a good feeling. Electile dysfunction is the only reason I'm here right now. <laughs> Hope things get better for you, Leader Pan. I hear there's a pill for that. No Warden's Insight, now is not the time. Nature speaks to you.
You're dead. I have spell power, so I, none of this matters. I promise. I promise. See, Druid's not that bad. Druid's not that bad. Paladin. Yeah. Uh, Leader Pan, thanks for subbing. Glad you enjoy those priest decks. I'm sure none of your opponents did. Ooh, we added a zero here. Taking bets on how many chin-ups before this door frame comes down. <sighs> Get real squeaky. Hyper Blaster vs. Grimmer Patron. That's interesting. Okay, I am Rush Druid. So this Lake Thresher already has Rush, which is really nice. That said, not a huge fan of the Hothead, and I actually hate the Broomstick in Rush Druid. Um, Overgrowth is a nuts card. Mire Keeper is good, and Nourish is here. I'm a huge fan of Overgrowth Mire Keeper. That looks that looks true. That looks right. Overgrowth Mire Keeper Wild Growth. Well, Mire Keeper is pretty sweet with Rush, actually. Mm, these are my ramp cards. It's starting to look like a mafia boss. Glad to hear it's working. Ooh, look at all this. Is, do they just like you? You draft a bucket and then you just draw it immediately. I don't know if that's uh, bias in my brain, but it, lately it seems kind of pretty often. I'll draft a bucket and it's just like, yeah, that bucket just starts in your opening hand. We're a little heavy on the ramp here, deck, but okay. Better than drawing the other half of the deck, I suppose. Live by me. You get burned. It literally grew Wild Growth, Mire Keeper, Overgrowth, Double Nourish. Five ramp. Nourish isn't really a ramp card in this deck, though. It's more card drop. I'm really hungry. I've not had my breakfast. I'm just starting it now. It's like nachos with uh, beans and avocado. Cheese, salsa, beans, and avocado. It's getting messy. Oh. What are the odds that's a counter spell? It's a little too likely that it's a counter spell, huh?
Okay, having determined it's not counterspell. Probably do this card. I think I trade with the Death Rattly Boy. So I'm very low here. It's spooky, he might murder me. Which would be really sad, because my deck plays a bunch of healing cards. I have like a couple Moonglade portals and a 4-mana four 4-5 four guy. So for me to just get burned out like this would be kind of a tragedy if all those cards are like bottom 9. Thank you, Sea Shark, for that crystal clear explanation. Could not have said it better myself. Okay. Seven here. Well, not that the Firelands portal. I think I still draw three. We're just trying to find healing. If he doesn't kill me this turn, there's no way he's killing me the turn after through a Moonglade portal, right? Oh shit. Okay, so now he has double fireball in hand. Terrifying. I might actually use this for the mana refresh. How's that for a first? Something like that. Dealing with the weapon makes it, you know, it stops a couple of ping burn damage over two turns. Significant. Uh oh. I died. Wait, did I die? Nah, we didn't die. Good try, Oz. I'll give you that. So this draws into half the time it draws healing. If I play Omu first, I lose the rush on this guy, so we need to start with this guy. Fifty fifty on this healing thing. I snailed it. Easy game. <clears throat> no way. More fireballs? Motherfucker. Not a lot of them. How did he not kill me sooner? 
Oh, whatever. Okay, Rush. The Jungle Moon can really benefits a lot from Rush. Because you can suicide this guy, so the opponent doesn't get the spell damage. Swipes the Nuts. Normally I would want the Wild Growth Overgrowth bucket, but I have a lot of that from last bucket. How is this Deathly Beasts? Mana, 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 Deathly Beasts. All right. Group learning is Moonfire? Or whatever. Group learning doesn't mean anything. Bottom line, I'm a swiper. Has the patch dropped yet? Um, I don't think so. If it has, I'd like to know about it. Normally, it would drop in about an hour and 17 minutes. That's normally when they do that. Is that right? Or no, maybe it drops in 17 minutes normally. Wake up and immediately start streaming? Um, not exactly. Probably woke up an hour ago. Lay in bed, do nothing for a while. These are not my early game. Now we're talking. Hyper Blaster Overgrowth? Sticky finger mage, huh? Ooh, we get the sticky finger discount on that. I really wish I had like Innervator Lightning Bloom to cheat out these overgrowthy things sooner. So hungry though. Come on, calories. A charming composition. Would you look at this weapon? Three mana, quadruple assassinate. Disturbing. It just neutralizes all of his turns while I get to do whatever I want for a few turns. Just pull ahead. Should I play around Counterspell? Sure, whatever. I like how drawing Lake Thresher is just good. Scale Rider in Mage. That's a first. Kind of just want to juice this hand. The nice thing about nourishing for cards here is I don't play a minion for my opponent to uh, do stuff with on his turn. So he has no option but to do pathetic stuff like this. Oh, Murmur Blizz, thanks for the first sub of the day. Do those push-ups in just a second. Some hand size issues here. Like Drake Wrath doesn't quite work. Let's see about a mirror entity. Six health is one out of range of the seven mana Firelands portal. Two health is one out of range of his ping. That's decent. We're going to be swiping. 
just don't need to point anything at that guy. Oh shit, guardian animals, gift to the wild. Look at all these nice rushy boys we have. Okay. Little push ups from Rumor Blizz's sub. Let's get to it. Whoa! Oh, first push ups of the day. Kind of hurt a little. Feels sort of weird. New card reveal soon, huh? Interesting. Do you guys know when we get, like, new hero powers and stuff for this mode? You're tired of my dad jokes. Stay tuned, Roth. I like to keep, to keep the mom jokes to, like, one per stream. The door frame break? Not yet, not yet. We always mix it between chin-ups and push-ups. That's nothing new. The only thing new is you, J. Bo Bill. Injured Blade Master. Hold on, let me ring my bell. That was a good three drop. Feels like a swipe turn. guy isn't playing nearly enough minions for me to kill. It's tragic. I have so much more removal for minions. If he just goes wide, I will AoE them with Starfall and swipe other Starfall, Cleave Boy. We got spot removal from the weapon. Spot removal from the wrath. Just There we go. Play your Asera into my poisonous weapon. There we go. So what? I'm a little light on healing. I've got plenty of AoE. That's the key point we learned this game. I've got plenty of AoE. I'm a little light on healing. It's not bad, but it's something we'd be more interested in. I need Zelay to motivate me. I'm too tired to do anything today. No, that's not on me. That's on you. Quit being weak and motivate yourself. Fuck. Very needy. Alright, so double times the nuts. And uh, I don't think we need to think any past that. We did it. We fucking did it. I love some double time swipes. I'm not sure about the double time lightning bloom. Looks like we're doing a lot of jungle moonkin. You would think I actually like Jungle Moonkin as a card. In reality, I just love Swipe and tolerate this idiot. I, I, why does it keep showing me fucking broomsticks when I have rocket backpacks? Idiot game. Like, the number of broomsticks that have just ruined otherwise playable buckets. Buckets are distressing me. Okay, I'm a double-time gamer. Let's remember that and get 12 wins. Okay, double-time. Great hand for double time. They're worth it for pains in places like lower back? Well, not for me. I just described having a tri trivial amount of pain, and uh, it's something that pretty much never happens, so I'm not going to buy something for that, let alone use something for that. I'm just making note of it and trying to be uh, injuring myself in the future. That's all. Ooh. 
There's a double timer. Very interested in this Moonfire, but I think we have to take the Moonblade Portal. So the second Moonglade Portal will probably not heal my face. It'll heal a random target, but we do get a second six drop, so that's uh, a bit of a winner. Next turn I have Cleave Guy. So do I want two six drops, but I leave the four two up? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Like he gets an extra two two because I left this up. You call that a deal. But he's not hero powering? Guy with Rush, Omega Lull. This one's very interesting with double time. <laughs> uh, I guess with double time, maybe I should have just started with this. Like, see if we get there. You make the two twos, and then you see if you high roll the mana crystals. You could make the mana crystals and see if you high roll the two twos. I guess you just decide which is more necessary, right? Losing that's not a big deal. Okay, what's more important? Five two twos or six mana? Five two twos. Nice. Got him. Alright, I don't have board space to do anything with a mana. LOL. First world problems over here. My deck's real gross, huh? Oh, he's a pillage deck, so oozing doesn't even do anything. Okay, so the patch makes that a five mana card. And we just learned his, his hand has a bunch of big demons in it, right? Or his hand just does nothing. Oh, oozing that kind of does something someday. So I can't make board space here. Listen. Have to settle for smacking him in the face. Not the worst. If you hear power first, you could have had six useless mana instead of four. Um, did you know, Sir Flop a lot, that my hero power costs mana? Like, I was at six, I spent three and three. That's six. Who the hell is this game? I'm, I'm disappointed. He didn't even struggle. Okay, I'm double time rocket backpacks. You ever double time a survival of the fittest? I think we gotta pick this uh, swipe bucket. But we'll mention the guardian animals teacher's pet bucket. And then we'll take the swipe bucket. I love these nachos I'm eating with my fingers. Mmm. Messy. I'm gonna keep overgrowth and swipe. Are you gonna judge me for it? Because if you do, I don't care. I'm still doing it. Oh, yeah. Keep the swipes coming. I've never played a double time overgrowth, but I'm excited for it.
Caltrops. Okay, Scepter of Summoning is legitimately scary. I really was enjoying... Oh my god. Overgrowth and... How many beasts are in my deck? I think I have two Rush guys and one card draw and one taunt. So I got turn 4 Overgrowth, turn 5 Guardian Animals, but he has turn 4, he can coin out something big. Hello, Water Marlone. Mm-hmm. Keep them coming. Now he coined out this goody two-shoes and he skips turn three. Looks like a mistake to me. Shout out to Double Time. Oh yeah. And now I think we just spend the rest of the game murdering him. Very, very quickly. Yeah, I could see just winning out from here. Just going 12-1. Drake Swipe, really good. Guardian Animals, really good. Spell Power Swipe Hyper Blaster. I mean, we just don't need that removal. Everything I'm playing. This is the most pressure, right? This kills him the fastest. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we need to draft some more beasts for my guardian animals. <laughs> uh, God, I love first world problems. I'll take some AVTs for Rosty. Imagine letting Druid play cards. Yeah, that seems like a big mistake, doesn't it? It seems... Oh. Each of these swipes is 12 to the face. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 this is disgusting. Oh, that was turn five I did that to him. Sir Flopalot, thank you for that sub. Helping me hit my daily exercise goal. Ten more push-ups. Come on, lower back. Time is against you. True. That's weird. His four mana removal spell doesn't seem quite as good as mine. His does two damage. Mine's more like 12. Oh, Jesus. Can have those cards. Just want to be clear about how fucking destroyed you are. We don't even need to save swipes for double time. <laughs> Disgusting. Leo CB, thank you for that prime. Ten more push-ups help me get that daily exercise done. Lol, he's trying. <laughs> okay, double time. Rocket. So with double time, what do I want? The problem with Book of the Dead is it only discounts on friendly minions dying, and I don't have a lot of minions dying. So as much as I'd love to double time this Book of the Dead, I don't think it's the pick. The problem with Banana Split is I'm not great at sticking a board. The problem with Dream Grove Ring is it costs 9 mana, which is a big number. And double timing, it doesn't really help. Going from five minions to seven is like, either way, they have to AoE. I think Dream Grove Ring should be the worst of the three. You gotta think Banana Splits the pick, as unsexy as it is. It was patched the book. Patched how? What does it do now? Book doesn't say friendly. It never said friendly. It always says, it has always had this text. <sighs> All right, guys, thanks for reading book to me. I appreciate that. I never read the card before. I, fuck. <sighs> book now works for enemy minions, I think. Why do you think that, Saradin? Drop some wisdom on me. The book says a minion, not friendly. So I think you should uninstall the game and move to Somalia. <laughs> now we're on to something, Alistor. Somalia sounds nice this time of year. Do they have Twitch chat in Somalia? No? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm confused. I would think it worked on enemy minions. Yes. I'm trying to tell you 
it's bugged. The text says it should work on enemy minions, but in reality, it does not currently. I suppose that's my bad. I didn't communicate that clearly enough. I, I guess I have this unrealistic expectation where I say things and you guys believe me, but why would you believe me? I'm stupid. Fair enough. Jungle Moonkin plus Banana Split, what could go wrong? All right, you talked me into it. You talked me into it. Okay, normally you want empty buckets. Normally you want empty buckets so you get your treasure cards more often. I don't really care about getting Banana Split more often. The cards I do want more often, like I am interested in getting Hyper Blaster more often. Really, the, the full cheese is Nature Studies. This card's my nuttiest, because this lets me double time and overgrowth on turn two, you know? You get two mana discounts and value and everything. I do have some nutty stuff, but I think Mire Keeper Overgrowth are pretty great. Like, the Mire Keeper has Rush, the Overgrowth double times. The Nourish does suck. Uh, I'm interested in getting more Beasts and more Guardian Animals. Survival of the Fittest does seem actually bad. I think we're just getting there with Swipes without ever playing Survival of the Fittest. Yeah, both of these buckets have some bad cards. I think we just take the Empty Bucket. Last night I showed my the wife my box of memories. She was curious until she saw that it was full of RAM from computers I've decommissioned over the years. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't into that. Turn one I coin with double time, Warden Insight for a single 2 2. Poggers. These cards are too good to throw away. There's some thought to keeping Starfall because it AoEs and that's a shaman. But nah, we're swipers. Okay, Evolve Scrying Orb Shaman. That's powerful. Double time with, double time with coin is upsetting. Ooh, look at that opener. Would you look at that opener over there? So do I coin Hyper Blaster. Turn two, my wand maker has rush. father always used to tell me, when one door closes, another door opens. He was a great man. Shit cabinet maker, but a great man. Let's double time this wrath, shall we? And hopefully it rolls one damage on the two ones, so I draw a free card. Ugh, terrible. We've tested this enough to know that it, it can roll different things, different modes. So many beasts. I'm not married to these weapon charges, right? We can kill stuff. Uh-oh, we're getting to the phase of the game where I start doing dirty shit. Ooh! Hoggers. Double time swipe, AoE's his side of the board for three. God, it's just so easy. It's just 
so fucking easy. <laughs> he had such a cool combo. It was so cool. <laughs> Yeah. No, it is a cool combo. I could be in trouble here, right? Got some board space issues. I should have Warden's Insight sooner somehow, I think. I decided to just paranoia kill stuff. So when this refreshes mana, I can banana split with that mana. And Ancient Reflections on Diligent Note Takers, perhaps better than I understood. So that's how many lava bursts? It's like five lava bursts. Jeez. Uh, Chad, I have a problem. The monkey's not bad while his hand's full. I think I want to draw towards AoE though. I'm more interested in the mana than the tutus. Hopefully we get both. We do not. He has a lot of value, but I have a lot of stuff in play right now. Medusa T, thanks for that prime. Ten more push-ups for me, help me get that daily exercise goal. All right, it's not as bad as it looks. He's very overloaded. Oh, come on. Job's done. There we go. Now we're talking. I think this only gets two beasts. So we can double time something else, like a nature studies. Actually, no, it gets two cleaves and a taunt. That's pretty good. Shit, that was wrong. Why did I think I have two cleaves when I have one?
This guy with Rush, 7 mana, double Moonglade portal. Six, six drop, bro. Oh yeah, they're just so good. I'm gonna save this nature studies for a double time. Interesting. So if I Drake Starfall, it might pick the wrong mode, but then I think my Drake still trades for me and everything's okay. If I Drake Swipe, got some issues with not clearing. I mean, I could Spell Power Swipe, and then four mana would be what? Just a Bloodfin Raptor? That's how I like the Drake Starfall better. Oh shit, did it starfall my own Drake here? That's a bad. It picked the wrong mode and the wrong target. That was a one in six fail. That might have cost me the game. Shucks. So if I wanted to play around that one in six bad scenario. Spell power swipe, bloodfin raptor, flow two mana. I don't know. I'm at peace with it. Moonkin here, Power Swipe. Now, I really never want to play Moonkin against that guy. It does way too much to help him kill me. Double time rocket backpack. So the Lake Thresher is great. But we don't like the other two. Actually, you could argue the Sphere is pretty good, because my deck is chock full of value, so like a cheaper thing is nice. I like double time wild growth. Greedy Sprite with Rush is also actually pretty good. Aspirin is not so good. I think we keep picking the swipe bucket. Talk about setting high expectations at the start. So I got this turn one coin hyper blaster opener. Do I keep the guardian animals? It's kind of like assuming I hit ramp, I'm kind of interested in the guardian animals. So maybe. All right, we're both double timers. I would not be surprised to see Double Time get nerfed. Maybe next patch. Do I Hyper Blast it? He's threatening to cram session for a million? The main issue with the Hyper Blaster is I have no follow up. Eh, I'm still down. My follow-up is continuing to poison every minion he plays. You nerf double time by making it affect the second spell, not the first. That would be a really harsh nerf. I could see it. It's kind of cool. My Twitch Prime got missed. Um, Nico, have you clicked announce to chat? Because there's no record on my end that you... I don't think you're lying or anything, but you need to click the announce the chat button so to inform me. 
you know. If there's no button for it, maybe you can refresh the page. But yeah, if you don't announce it, I have no record of it happening. Okay, am I gonna poison a one, two? No, I'm gonna poison a 1-1 one, one, so you can't ping it. Then I'm gonna spend my mana. Two weapon charges. I yeah, will wait. That one two is not that scary. Taunt is cheat. You know what else is cheating? Devil overgrowth. A. Isn't it better to wait for him to ping the 1-1 one, one, than poison the Mana Worm? Spend one more damage, but he spends two more mana. I mean, I, I wanted to weapon something that turn, was my thinking. I didn't want him to play a third minion and then be down two minions for a while while I had all these weapon charges and then lose to burn damage. So I knew I wanted to weapon something that turn, and it was better to weapon the 1-1 one, one to take away the option. So the problem with waiting for him to ping is he just plays something instead of pinging. This one. Wait, maybe Starfall is better. Yeah. What's my rating? It's 7k. I've been playing bad classes. I've been trying to get 12 wins with bad classes for a while now. When I was playing good classes, I climbed up to 7k pretty quick, and then I started playing bad classes, and I haven't gone anywhere since. Oh shit, that happens twice. I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> this flame strike's gonna hurt. Oh yeah? Yeah, you're right. The double time flame strike, you're right. You haven't gotten 12 wins with Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter is super easy. I think Demon Hunter is in contention for the best class. You put two big demons in it, and you don't put any more big demons in it. Exactly two big demons, leave it there. Very good.
That didn't look like the card he needed. That play sucked. Ah, he pings my 6-6. Six, six. I really want to give him some counterplay here. No, it's lethal, right? Swipe for 22. Wow. Raid High, thanks so much for subbing. He says, I really appreciate all the hours of entertainment you provide me with. Please excuse my English, I'm Danish. The nationality, not the pastry. <laughs> uh, I did AoE's board for 16 damage, didn't I? Okay, double time backpacks. So, Butch looks like the pick, right? Alright, 10 more push-ups for that daily exercise goal. So it's between Worshipper and Loyal Sidekick, right? Loyal Sidekick is starting out as a 4-mana 9-9 rush. Okay, that's way better. Duh. Duh. You went 11 3 11 0 3 because of nutty double passive hunter, huh? Yeah, frustrating. These look pretty keepable. Turn two, I double time coin the sidekick. I keep one maker because one mana spells tend to be really good with double time. I could beat Lunar Band Double Death Rattle Hunter. Okay, so it's Lunar Band Reborn. That's weaker than doubling. Because when you double the Death Rattle effect and it proc, it's like you get quadruple Death Rattle effects. Here he's just getting like triple instead of quadruple. And double time, rush. Look at that passive usage, beautiful. Did not have a beast in play, did ya? That was not the right way to play that turn. You could have at least traded the loot hoarder to start. Come on now. Come on, bruh. Oh, the double time nature studies. You know I like that. All interesting options. Next turn I'll have four mana. I could double time the Moonglade portal. I think we just default default to the powerful card, right? Bite is good doubled for both aggression and defense. Bite is good for a, a late game finisher, sort of. Everything's good doubled. I wouldn't call it defense exactly. It's life gain, which is a form of defense, but it's it's not exactly tempo. So I'm nervous about a freezing trap here. Kind of makes me want to just do a jungle moonkin turn. Except that this card is so much stronger. Maybe we'll see a cat trick. Let's say it is Freezing Trip. It, this comes down bigger. It's not so bad. Yeah, we'll risk. 
So it's probably snake. We don't care. We're never trading. Is he dead? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, he lived. So unlucky. Boy, this was a tough game. Very difficult game to win. Kappa. Maybe he runs Reno Jackson. Yeah, it's like even if he runs Reno Jackson, we still absolutely annihilate him here. I want to see these secrets. I'm curious. Uh huh. Trade. Venom Strike, huh? That's a weird one. Is that from Buckets? Holy shit, he's dead. Turn 1 Nature Studies with double time sets up turn 2 Overgrowth with double time. And then after that, it's all just parties. Turn 3, I have 7 mana. Sure. This is checkmate. Good luck beating this. The Rocket Backpacks were... I mean, it, it's a good, it's a good thing. It's just not... Double. Everyone just has double time, man. It's like double time's the broken one these days, huh? Double time is how you get a lot of wins. Not much else gets you there. So we have double time overgrowth, so I guess Starfall is what we'll potentially be interested in later. Yeah, my turn two is a little better than his. He passed, I double overgrowth. Yikes. Passes again. He's not even. Does he? Okay. Summon a panther druid. We're bringing it back. Oh my god, party portal pre nerf. Crazy. Ugh, I like it when you get both. Full board, full clear. I see this guy doesn't like buffing his mana worms. No judgment. Some people don't think bigger is better. I'm judging him. Double time this one. And we don't need double time on this one. About a double time this nourish. Yeah, it looks real lo lonely over there. This guy's on six mana. I'll remind you, on turn three, I had seven mana. Now, a million turns later, he's only at six mana. He's still behind. I had more mana than him three turns ago. It's a testament to double time that he's hang. Oh, into that divine shield. Oh no. Oh no, the murdering. It's coming for you. 
It's coming for you, Techno Geek. Oh shit. I want to double time this banana split, but first I want to kill his guy. Banana split was the right choice. I built a wall. Yeah, we need some taunt buffers. Where's my strong shell scavenger? Oh, banana split is friendly only. You're right. I missed that data shy. Thank you. You're right. I should have read my card. That's my bad. You don't have time for this. What are you talking about, man? You got double time. So this is getting nerfed, like, now-ish to five mana. All right, what works best with double time? Definitely not bag of stuffing. Probably canopic jars. I don't know how this is a card that they nerfed. That's weird to me. I have lost to it before, but still. Like, imagine having to stick a board. Ugh. Double time nature studies? Okay. Okay. Can we ramp with that? Jimbo Slice, thanks for 28 months. That's 10 more push-ups for me. Help me get that daily exercise goal. Uh, I could go for Survival of the Fittest against Druid, actually. <sighs> this weapon will help me survive long enough to... It's just, we really need to draw a ramp to get this Survival of the Fittest online sooner. Here we go. So, turn four, I can double time and nourish. So I skip two, Hyper Blaster on three, Nourish on four. Okay. Hopefully the Nourish gets Mana Crystals on the double time. I can get this Survival off ASAP. This Hyper Blaster does a beautiful job of buying me time to do awful shit to him, like double time nourish. Often Druid Mirrors are decided by who plays survival first. So Hyper Blaster protecting me while I ramp into survival is like, yeah, it's good. So he has double time as well, huh? It's a double double time game. His passives are better because he has Ronin Scrying Orb. He has mana discounts with his double time, and that is better. Well, that's better. Both of ain't no thing for my Hyper Blaster. Where's the patch? Oh, presumably if you reload now, you get the patch, right? Sorry, Zelay, I missed something. That's okay, Nathan. <laughs> it's okay. I enjoyed it anyways. Drops update, I have three. Thanks for the update, Matt. Keep them coming. All right. There's no way it's going to draw cards. It's going to double time ramp every time. 
Ramp. Poggers. We did it. We fucking did it. Kind of don't want to poison that guy. It's like it pushes four face damage and it adds two health to my minions. Nah, we'll just keep the weapon charge. Next turn we double time survival and he concedes. Sure. That's it? You're gonna want to do more than that. Better? They all have rush, huh? Fair enough. This Ancient Reflections card is pretty good. Not the greatest to double time, but pretty good. So if I double time survival here, I could lose to something like a Savage Roar. Let's see, I get to punch the 3-3, three, three, and then he has, what is this? 6, 10, 11. Hero power makes 13. Savage Roar is another 28. Mm. You don't take the walks. I was going to Omo, but then I remember that fucks up my double time on this swipe. I don't remember how many beasts are in my deck. I drew a teacher's pet. So there's a rush and a card draw, and that might be it. I think it's just those three. Okay, he skips a turn. Easy clap. I also skip a turn. Oh, you're getting a kitten, Rossi? That's awesome. Um. No, nah, I don't know anything about cats. Luna's the easiest cat ever. Kittens are actually a lot harder. I got Luna as an adult. Kittens are a lot harder than adult cats like depending on how young they are like if they're really young they need a little, some really uh kind of disgusting care like they cannot go number two without stimulation <laughs> as young babies so uh yeah i mean it'll die if it's young enough and you're not caring for it properly so enjoy that but damn kittens are cute, but they're a lot of work. All right, there's no way we need to double time this guardian animals. So let's double time the nature studies. I would love a savage roar. Not my cleanest game of Hearthstone, huh? There's no way I give him spell damage, even though it's huge. Yeah, no, no pressure at all, Rusty. No pressure at all. I'm just saying, like, if you get in a kitten, it'll die if you don't lick its butt every day. That's all. Mama cats do that for their kittens. Swipe's a good card. Of the 
Managing double times is a lot of confusing math. I don't like all this work. Okay. The Savage Road does a lot. Does eight. Yeah. Lethal Moonkin. I kill him with a Moonkin and a Hyper Blaster there. Nice coin, thank you. I was saving it for a good double time. As you can see, that was completely necessary. So when you double time the Amalgamate, the second one destroys your Amalgamation and makes the same thing back again, basically. Uh, double timing Spyglass is actually powerful. That's what we're gonna do. This is getting buffed to a one mana card sometime today, whenever the patch hits. So turn two, I double time the coin on this Mire Keeper. He has Rush Hand Buff. Okay, I have much more powerful passives with my double time. Always swipe. Ooh, yeah. This poor guy. Oh, it's just not gonna go well for him. Oh wait, I don't want a coin because of my nature studies discount it means I need to spyglass here. Eek. That's a little spooky. Lucia. Pain, Madness, Drake, what was the other card? All right, whatever. Priest of the Feast, all right, thanks. So he's going to Drake or Priest to the Feast. Let's see if we get something good to double time here. That's arguably bad to double time because it clogs up my hand with garbage. I might prefer to never play this card. If I play it now, I'm overdrawing. Should I have left him at 37? Alright, let's not give him the easy draw here. Should I kind of change my mind on this turn? Should not have traded the 2 2, right? Sloppy. I need to focus up here. I'm feeling a little. a little off. Get in the zone. Double time. What are we doing here? Banana splitting this guy's interesting. It's definitely powerful with double time. We're gonna run into some serious hand size issues. I really don't want that many Twilight Runners though. Killed itself, huh? Idiot. No, that's good. Okay, we're fine. 
Excellent targeting there, Jungle Moonkin. It nailed the second mode on that Wrath. So double time survival is two turns away. Right now we double time this one. All right, all right, we're doing it. You can shadow menace the grandma. That's no big deal. We're gonna double time this survival and he's gonna get shrecked. That's the bottom line. He wanted to raise dead before I put Einhorn in his revive pool. That makes sense. That's smart. Trade for dragon fire potion type things. That's a pretty good setup for double time survival. I used to have a job at the calendar factory, but I got fired. Because I took a couple days off. <laughs> Thanks, Rollins. Oh, wow, his turn sucked. Didn't even full clear. Thirteen, your move. This has rush. We could double time these with spell da double spell damage. It's just God Druid. Why, Druid? Why do you do them like this? They don't deserve it. This <laughs> is twenty twenty. Maybe we should just draw some excess manas here. Not running out of stuff to double time any soon here, anytime soon here. Hyper Blaster, you bastard! Oh God! Yeah, thought stealing my stuff is pretty good. <laughs> Damn, my cards are nice. Speaking of, oh, I was supposed to play the bigger moon first. For I can only get one rush. I was too excited. Sloppy. Oh, jeez. So I can do a turn where I go like spell power swipe, mana crystals, swipe, swipe. So that would be like four swipes at his face times six damage, so 24 burst. You know what? Maybe ooze is good. A lot of nice treasure weapons. Oh shit. That does something. He's gonna need like a wand. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. I should just do these two cards was enough. Gidra's an overex- eh, I guess it clears his thing. Oh fuck. I'm doing so many stupid things here. I was supposed to- What am I doing? Okay, I definitely want to combo these two together, so I'm not doing that this turn anymore. This has been very embarrassing. God, 
God, what? What? <laughs> brain, come on now. Come on, brain. We could do better than this. I'm just misplaying everything. I'm so excited. I just fuck up everything. Oh, calm the fuck down. Play it better. <sighs> we can do Moonkin many swipe turn. It's like Moonkin spell power, refresh mana crystals, swipe, swipe. Mazaki, huh? That's fun. Oh shit, that's less fun. His legendaries seem better than mine. PP numbers, thanks for that, Prime. Help me hit that daily exercise goal. Ten more push-ups. somewhere rosin druid huh does that bait me into a jungle moonkin nah. absolutely not okay let's do those push-ups to give myself credit for Starting to get in trouble here, Zelay. So spell power swipe is 6, 12, 18. We did it. We just gotta play our taunt treasure minion one more time. Oh, Bigglesworth for the last hurrah. Plus two health with double time. Princess. Bigglesworth has rush. I mean, this is a 12 win Bigglesworth deck if I've ever seen it. People always ask, what's Mr. Bigglesworth for? I mean, 12 win runs, obviously. It's, yeah, it's nutty with survival. Zero mana, nine, nine with rush. Hello? Double time coin Meyer Keeper. Yes. Other cards. No. Canopy Jar is like a late game play, right? But we do want to ramp early. The other cards, no. Final boss. Come on, Bigglesworth. Carry me. I'm seeing it. We're, we're doing the things. If Mr. Bigglesworth gets the killing blow, I will gift Sylvester Stallone as a lay sub. Ooh, we're playing for some stakes now. And would you look at that, my opponent also has double time. You know what, folks? I'm starting to think double time might be broke as a joke. Just maybe. Awful lot of double timers out there. Not a lot of other opponents. It's almost like other passives can't keep up with the double time coin. The 
I almost summoned a slime. Can you imagine? So he has spell damage double time. That's some nice synergy. You never seen double time? Well, keep trying, Rekith. Once you do see it, you'll really enjoy it. Should we go for this Warden's Insight coin flip? Yeah. If we miss on the coin flip, we still just get more tutus. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I would have preferred to stick a loyal sidekick and then banana split it, but this looks like it's not getting AoE'd down, so I'm pretty happy with what's going on here. Your own minion. Ah. Curse you double time. Push eight, seems great. God, double time though. Woof! Oh no, it's frozen. That guy's too much AoE removal. What was the starting druid list? Um, you can check the VOD. I started this run yesterday. Oh, the bagel's worth! Which one goes face? This one? Be one with nature, bitch! Hey! No! No! Bailsworth, no! I was trying to send a message before he conceded. That was so rude! He killed my Bigglesworth! Prepare to die! Yeah, you think that's gonna stop me? Really? Really? You think that's gonna stop me? I'm a druid! Hold on, Bigglesworth Ghost was gonna get in for lethal. 12 in with Bigglesworth, there it is. Mm. So what we learned, double time is how you get 12 wins. Not double time is how you don't get 12 wins.